Finally, some honesty. Join the herd. All right, so this is where I needed to get off the bus, right down here. I ended up getting off the bus about a mile past here. Um, a, because I don't know what I'm doing. B, because I couldn't really understand what the hell a driver was saying through his mask. Uh, so, I'm about to get back on the trail. There's another stop up a, where I got off called the Inn at the Long Trail, I guess. So the trail must wrap around, come back up to the road or something. Uh, but obviously I can't skip this section. So I jumped off and I'm headed back down here. A bunch of other people jumped off too. Maybe they just hiked this section the other day or something. I don't know. It's frustrating. Uh, really would have been great if the bus that takes uh, hikers to the trail could have stopped at that spot. But I understand it's a tight there's no turnaround. He would have had to pull off the side of the road. It's a busy road, blah, blah, blah. So, live and learn. Unfortunately, these are all kind of one and done things. So as soon as I learn something, it's no longer applicable. So I'm just left with the frustration, but whatever. I'm getting back on the trail in a second as long as I don't get clipped by a semi's mirror in the next 200 feet. Getting started at 8.56. I've reached main junction. I think that's the long trail. I think that's the AT. Um, that way one mile I think is where I got off the bus. So, uh, if I had hiked up here, I would've had to hike, hike a mile. Anyway, so no biggie. Let's see what this sign says. Make sure I don't head up to Canada and I head up to Maine instead. This is the AT. All right, this is where I'm headed. Goodbye long trailers. Uh, Nothing for or against long trail people, but I am glad to be back on the AT and not have a different set of hikers. You know, it's like a totally different experience. I'd rather just see AT through hikers at this point. So I know we're all in the same suffering boat. <laughs> Gives me comfort. So anyway, I gotta shut up. And I'm still trying to get to Winturi Shelter, which is 20 miles from the road back there. <clears throat> or 19 something, I don't know. I'll check it later. But uh, it's gonna be a long day. Gifford Woods State Park. It's really nice. Um, would have been a cool place to camp if I had uh, planned it out a little better. It's uh, 3.2 miles from where I started on the trail. And um, I'm gonna fill up with some water here, maybe play some badminton. That's not a true statement, but the water part is. It's 11.41, 12.9 to go to this Winturi shelter. I just came up 1,300 feet and 1.3 mile. And uh, I'm absolutely soaked. Um, this thing seems to be holding the bandage in place, this leg uh, sleeve. So that's good. Um, I think the plan is to wear this wash off tonight, put a new bandage on. And then I don't know if I'll wash off again in the morning or not. I don't think you want to wash it too much. Uh, I guess we'll see what the bandage looks like in the morning. It's still not hurting, burning, or anything like that. I was worried that sweat getting into it might burn. Um, that's showing, but I'm just dripping sweat. Like, gross. Uh, lunch will be consumed pretty soon. I don't know if it's going to rain. I don't know that it even matters because I'm so wet already. I'm sure my socks are soaked. Uh, so, another fun day on the AT. So this is gonna be my lunch spot. It's noon. Um, done 7.9 miles to this point. As soon as I stop, mosquitoes land on me and start biting. 
but the interesting thing is they're landing over here not over here I did not bug spray this morning forgot um, but this is treated and should be rejecting the mosquitoes but I just got bit right through it uh, <laughs> It's probably all just marketing nonsense doesn't work so I'm just gonna sit here and get eat eaten while I eat because I'm sure it's worse in there uh, not that the bugs are bad but as soon as you stop oh and by the way that trekking pole it's just it just won't tighten down oh, it's pissing me off 60 bucks are garbage so lunch was gonna be Cream cheese and salami for today and tomorrow. That fell out when I was draining off the runny stuff. Uh, so I scooped off what I could for lunch today. Tomorrow I guess will be salami and cheddar cheese sticks. I need to be done with this trail. And I have my first ladder. Yay, it's a 24 foot ladder. I'm guessing 12 foot section, so it must be a 10 foot drop. Try not to fall off. Three miles. 